Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my videos. Today I am going to take you to the Victoria and Albert Museum, also known as the v &A. We are walking up Cromwell Row here towards the main entrance of the museum. This is like the original entrance to the museum because there's another new one that's um, a, new, a new side of the museum that's recently been opened. So I think sometime they direct, divert people towards that entrance. But this one here is the original main entrance of the museum. The nearest tube station to get here is South Kensington, which is on the District, Circle and Piccadilly line. And here is the main entrance, the original entrance to the museum. It's a beautiful place. The entire museum is absolutely gorgeous. The building itself, the collection inside it, it's beautiful and it's big. You can literally spend the whole day here. It's an art and design museum, so you get to see beautiful artwork and all that kind of thing. And the best thing about it is that it's free. Actually, most of the um, big public museums in London, they're all free. So make the most of it. If you're ever in London, you've got to go and check them out before they start charging for them. Because once they start charging for these places, it's going to be very expensive. This is the reception area of the museum. So this is what you will see when you come in through the main original entrance of the museum. It's a very impressive, spacious looking place to come into. All right, we are now back out into Cromwell Road where we were earlier because I want to walk back and take you around the corner onto Exhibition Road where the newer section of the museum uh, is located. This new section was only open in maybe 2018 or 2019. I think it's around about 2019 or something like that. It wasn't that long ago, but the original museum, the original Victoria and Albert Museum was actually um, started the building work was in 1899 so it's a long time ago and this newer section's only been a few years and if you just continue straight across the traffic light on the other side you'll get to the natural history museum so this here is exhibition road this road must be very popular because um if you cross over to the other side of the road, just walk straight down for a few more minutes, you will get to the Science Museum. Along this road is also located the um, Imperial College London campus. And if you just carry on walking straight down uh, the road, you will get to High Park. So um, a lot of things to do and see here. And by the way, the entrance fee to all these museums are free and you can literally spend the whole day in each museum because they are all so big with so much to do and see. This is a new space of the museum. So you can see that they uh, use it as um, another entrance or exit to the museum. So this is the um, new section, uh, which is also the new entrance or exit. And then the uh, other one that I showed you earlier, that's the original entrance or exit. 
So now it's interchangeable. Sometimes they'll use this entrance, sometimes they'll use the other one. This is a garden section of the museum and it's a beautiful space. On a gorgeous sunny day like this, you can come here and just sit down, bring your own food, lunch or picnic or something and enjoy the space. There is a cafeteria inside the museum itself, but I have found it to always be really busy, very noisy, very crowded. It's much better to come out with a drink and sit out here and enjoy the view. I'll be doing separate videos for the artwork, display and exhibitions of the museum, so look out for that. Otherwise, we are coming to the end of this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.